Okay. So today what we are going to do is essentially uh, uh, completing the wire models. We, we discussed wires. Now we'll look at wire delay models and stuff. And then we will start with inverter today. Okay. So uh, wires, all of us know, are, are there along the entire chip. They run from uh, one end of the chip to another. These are global wires. And then there obviously there are interconnects. You also use wires when you design your circuits and everything. Hmm? So that much is, uh, uh, you know, evident to all of you. Now, what, the, what is very important to realize is also that as technology is scaling, devices are becoming faster. Hmm? Because of technology scaling, your channel length is reducing, so current is increasing or the time to, uh, you know, the, the, the device current per unit micron square is increasing. All that is happening. So device delays are becoming lesser. However, we understand that as the wires come closer, their capacitance increases. And as they become thinner, their resistance also increases. So what would be happening to the interconnect delays? So we are saying device delays are reducing as technology scales. But what happens to the interconnect delays as technology scales? So they increase. The interconnect delays increase. So it is very important to understand how to model interconnect delays in your circuits and what kind of uh, uh, you know, delays can happen because of uh, interconnects. So in an advanced SOC and uh, where you have possibly long critical paths also, uh, one data point shows that up to 70% of total delay in a critical path was RC delays. So there is a critical path on a global signal. This global signal is running from one place to a distant location on the same die. And up to 70% of total delay in that critical path was due to wires. In, in small circuits, just about 20 to 30% of delay could be because of wires. But in big circuits, that is the kind of impact or big circuits means big systems, uh, up to 70% of delay could be because of RC interconnects. Okay, so uh, what I'm showing as of now is the most simple or the simplest model of a wire delay. So what is it? You simply model the capacitance. You're not even modeling the resistance of the wire. You, you club all the capacitance into one C lump, and you say that is all it is. Do you think this is okay? Sir? Yes, Rakha. So this C lump, this is, a, a, sir, for example, in the earlier slides, you showed us the C adjacent and C ground, right, a figure. So, sir, that C lump is characterizing all those capacitances with the intermetal. Yeah, 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 everything. Okay. So this is, let us say this C wire is distributed over 100 microns. So C lambda is summing of all those and pe there was an intrametal capacitance, pe there was intermetal capacitance, pe there was metal to substrate capacitance. All of that is added and put as C lambda. Okay, sir. So do you think this is accurate? No, sir. No, no. Why? First thing we already, I just mentioned that resistances are not taken care of at all. And uh, just the driver resistance is brought into picture. So when the resistances were less, let us say in 189, 180 nanometer technology or 250 nanometer technology, this model could have worked. But today when we are talking about 18 nanometer, it no longer works. Hmm? So what do we do? We look at the next model. The next model is lumped RC model where we say that, okay, we will also model the resistances, but not too many of them, okay? And we say that the delay or the effective resistance from node I, let us say this is node I, to node K, let us say this is node K. 
would be given as sum of rjs where rj is elements of all that so effectively delay is k from 1 to n ck into rik so what is uh, uh, i'm just not sure if we have an example okay so uh, this is something that is important and i would want you to do some numericals from the question bank that we already have made available on this okay uh, what is important to see is how does rik change when i am talking about delay at node 2 or delay at node i or delay at node 4 okay it is simple you just need to apply this kind of formula and you will get there but i want you to work on some numericals for this these are simple this is simple addition and multiplication can i assume you can do this so so what you're saying is that 2 4 and 1 are respectively the different output position output points that i'm taking in this circuit right yeah okay okay sir could be na one inverter could be driving four four inputs somewhere hmm okay yeah then a nand gate output could be going to two places yes sir Hello? so so one thing i wanted to ask right ki for example sir when we are for example say we are going having two gates and there is a wire between them so what we talk about the delay happening is for first of first of all there is the input pin capacitance of the gate that is driven then there is the wire thing and then there's also the capacitance in in uh, intrinsic to the device itself so mm -hmm. this this c basically characterizes all of that i just actually i can understand yeah, that let us say let us say ci would be the wire of the capacitance and the wire of the you know uh, the the capacitance of the gate also the capacitance including cgd cgs plus cgb everything that is the load that we are putting at that that node node 4 or node i or anything so because say, since it's a metal wire so in itself it doesn't have any capacitance but we no. are mod why 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 no sir if we take a individual wire only no there is a substrate on which it will run na okay substrate is ground so there is a, there is always a capacitance of even a isolated wire with ground or vdd whatever so i can get that so what you saying this so when i draw a wire let us say i made a wire hmm? Hmm? and there is no other material around it okay so this is just a wire there was some contact uh, some via there and there was some other wire through which it was coming Hmm? so abhi is part ko bhul jate hain let us forget the capacitance of this part and let us say this is the other part of the wire which or whose capacitance i want to see let us say this is the substrate so if there is no other metal around here to which lines of uh, electric electric field lines would go then the line of forces would go to the ground say so into the substrate right into the substrate so there will be a capacitance with substrate no okay. wire can exist without any capacitance a capacitance value may be less or it could be large that's a different thing uh because even even between the intermetal there is silicon dioxide right so it is also there yeah 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 so there would be definitely some capacitance between this all that would be there but mai to keh raha hu substrate ke sath bhi ek capacitance hai if you cut make a cut over here there will be so many lines of forces that you will be cutting so that will give you a measure of capacitance between these two So but, so but say for example i am taking a metal 3 wire and mm -hmm. it is isolated so i have below it a silicon dioxide right yeah so one is the one charge so plate silicon dioxide is a dielectric so all yes, this sir. is let us say this is metal 3 let us say this is metal 3 yes sir okay so this is dielectric yes sir okay now tell me okay there will okay. still be the substrate na substrate okay. which could be considered as the other other plate of the capacitor there is this one plate there is the other plate and this other plate is say held at gnd or vdd let us say gnds and vdds substrate level what's the big deal so it is the basic p p p substrate right you are talking about yeah uh, p substrate or n substrate so this is okay p substrate this is n substrate and well 
Okay, so but still, uh, as we go higher up, this component will get negligible, right? Yes, it will reduce. Okay, it will reduce because what happens is then, uh, then what happens is that it will reduce simply because there will be other wires which will to which these lines of forces will end. As you go higher up, कहीं ना कहीं पे तो कुछ ना कुछ और वायर उसके इस रेडियाई में आ जाएगी. Okay. Uh, no. So some wire would be in their metal five somewhere, you know, uh, far away. But even then, that is closer than what you will see in the ground. So these line of forces will dominate them. But okay. there, every isolated wire will have some capacitance because there is current flowing through it. So there is bound to be electric field. Those lines of field would terminate somewhere. Yeah. Yes. Sir. So, but like in our model, this our uh, del delay model, we are basically characterizing all the uh, capacitances, the inter intra, and this also in this model. All that is clubbed into this place. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. And what we are saying is that wherever I had a turn in the wire, or wherever I had a you know bifurcation in the wire, that is where I also bifurcate my. Uh, I I I kind of make a split, and I put a capacitance. There and then I have the other resistance coming into picture and so on. Okay, okay, sir. Got it. Okay, sir. Yes. Sir, uh, here if we are talking solely about the wires, then in that case this model would not contain the gate capacitances of the MOSFETs and the output the intrinsic capacitances. At the terminal, at the terminal, that is two, four, and CI, it would contain the gate because that's the load. So, sir, if we talk about a tool, maybe so it uses some kind of. If you talk uh, about the uh, uh, some tool like, for example, genus or uh, anything like that does uh, logical. Yeah, yeah. So those wire load models will not because there the you do not even know what the output capacitance is. But I am talking of when you are analyzing a circuit. When you are analyzing yes. a circuit, then the CI or you can what you can do is you can put another C load ahead of it. I would rather not do that. I would say CI includes that. It okay. makes it simpler because they are in parallel anyway, so they will be added. Yes. Okay. Deepank. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, sir. Actually, uh, can I imagine each node to be a gate and drain junction? Uh, no. One. Okay. No. These are wires. Uh, so as I just mentioned, uh, each node, let us say this node one or node three, they could be places where uh, my wire bifurcated into two parts. Okay, yeah, I got that. Okay, okay. so I was basically thinking like, what uh, in? Uh, okay, got. No, this is only wire delays. This is only wire delays. Only at the terminal end, I am saying you can add the load capacitance there. Otherwise, it's not wire delays. Yeah, the basically the junction represents a point and where the by by bifurcates, whether it would, might be for gate or might be for another place. No, so Deepan, don't use the word junction because junction there is a junction capacitance that we know of. Right. It will confuse Sorry. people. Uh, so junction, I know you are talking about a train junction, for example. No, so don't use the word junction over here. You simply say the thing bifurcates. So I was trying to imagine like if there are two inverters in series and. Uh, It the wire leaves from the drain, then goes to the gate of the other inverter. So yeah, there is a resistance of to that wire, and then that wire also can uh, that inverter can drive another circuit, another another gate. So the so, point, if it is something like this, yeah. then I would say we are only talking about this part. Okay. Yeah. There is nothing else there. Okay. 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 Only when there is something like. Okay, now this goes to a NAND gate, and yes, yes. from here it also goes to a NOR gate somewhere. Only when there is something like this that we're talking about remaining parts. Okay, yeah, now you know because then we are we are adding more paths onto the picture. That is so, when these paths start to figure in. Otherwise, no. Okay, so, we're talking only I, about the wire capacitance in this slide. So. But uh, I would strongly recommend you to do some numericals. uh numericals class may this is simple addition addition sub multiplication i i don't think we need to do the numerical in the class but i would recommend you to do it it's important for you to estimate okay. ki kya ho raha hai okay 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 uh, sir any uh, yes madhur 
Uh, so uh, I did not understand the equation, this path S to I intersection path S to K. What is this S? Okay. So uh, all paths, all paths which are from uh, source to output I and from source to output K. S stands for source. Okay. Okay. So, jo bhi intersection ke paths hai, common paths hai, that is the that is the sum that you're talking about. Okay. Okay. Sir, uh, sir, uh, here we are talking about the capacitance and resistances of wires only, but at the point the, the R point, the input point where we you have given a pulse, uh, there will be an output capacitance of a gate, and at the uh, Point two and point four. There would be some uh, like if uh, if this gate is driving some uh, uh, another gates, then this point two and four will have some in input capacitance of those gates. Yes, sir. but so we already we said that C two and C four and C I would include the load capacitance. That is what I just suggested. Achha, okay. Or you okay. can put them in parallel. Or you can put them in parallel. Okay. okay so C I to C two, C four, and C I. Yes, uh, as far as the capacitance, the self-loading of the driver concern is concerned, you're right. It comes into picture, so uh, we can put it there. But because we are also considering the driver as the source, uh, it will not really make much of an impact in the overall delay calculation. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank okay. You. Uh, sir, what is this uh, source we are talking about? Is it the voltage source we are providing in the circuit? Yeah. We're just saying that, okay, there is a voltage source. Okay. 